It's that time right now to connect to Congress. Joining me from Washington, D.C. right now is Rhode Island Congressman Seth Magaziner. Hello, hello. Last night, it's been called historic, sad, stunning. You voted, Representative Magaziner, to oust the speaker. So the lead question I have for you right now is, now what? Who are you supporting next? Well, this is a, uh, a very solemn and difficult time uh, for our country. This is the first time that the speakership has been vacant uh, in our nation's history. But a majority of us in the House felt that we had to make this move because the prior speaker, Kevin McCarthy, was advancing an extreme agenda that Rhode Islanders didn't want, an agenda that included things like criminalizing abortion, cuts to education and health care, a baseless impeachment of the president, and was also someone who had a pattern of not keeping his word, like reneging on the uh, budget deal that he made with President Biden earlier this spring. Um, as far as what happens next, um, I'm hopeful that whoever the next speaker is, is someone who will take a more bipartisan approach. And instead of just trying to placate the most extreme members of the House, we'll work with both sides across the aisle in a more bipartisan way to get things done. And what about Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries? We've heard about that. You know, House Democrats are, say Democrats are saying that they want to put people over politics, but a lot of folks are saying that this feels political at the same time. So where do you stand on that, especially with your own vote? Well, I certainly will be supporting Hakeem Jeffries uh, for speaker when we reconvene to vote. Uh, Hakeem is a terrific leader. He has the right values. He understands that it is important that we put people over politics. Um, but that being said, uh, you know, Hakeem has already said that he's willing to work with Republicans uh, who um, are interested in, in working together across party lines to move the country forward. Um, you know, people I talk to are tired of the nastiness, they're tired of the fighting, they're tired of the extremism politics. They want bipartisanship. Uh, they want our elected officials to work together. And yeah, we disagree when we have to, but we should work together whenever we can. And uh, I'll be voting for Hakeem Jeffries, but I hope that whoever our next speaker is is someone who will take that more bipartisan approach. Well, on that note, the now former speaker said he did do his job by making compromises in a bipartisan way, according to him, to at least fund the government. You're going to say that's his job. He had to do it. But what about the argument now that it's kind of the devil you know or knew? Are you at all concerned about another delay in getting work done at this yeah. point? You know, when it comes to uh, keeping the government open, that's the bare minimum. I mean, that's the bare minimum of what people expect us to do. So I don't think he deserves a gold star just for doing that. But again, that's behind us now. Uh, it's a time to look forward and to look ahead to what's next. And I hope that whoever our next speaker is, uh, whether it's Hakeem Jeffries, who I'm supporting, or someone else, uh, is somebody who can help us cool down the temperature on the partisanship and uh, foster a spirit of bipartisan uh, uh, cooperation so that we can get to work on the issues that people really care about, like lowering costs and improving health care and improving education. Those are the things that I came to Washington to do. Well, in that spirit, then, we're also on a deadline, too. What about the threat of a government shutdown again, potentially in November? Yeah, so we need to move quickly. Um, a, a shutdown would be disastrous for working people in Rhode Island. That's why I voted uh, for the continuing resolution to keep the government open this past weekend. Uh, and we need to elect a speaker quickly so that we can get back to working on our appropriations bills uh, to keep the government funded going forward. Um, again, I, I think that what we need to do now is put politics aside, uh, roll up our sleeves and do the work. As soon as we elect a new speaker, uh, we need to pass a budget. Congressman Magaziner, thanks for your time. Thank you, Alison.